Have you ever thought to yourself, what if I could have one remote that can control everything in my home? Today we have a universal remote that seems to control almost any device out there. This video isn't sponsored, however Best Joy has kindly sent over their flagship super remote and their Embridge to review. The unboxing experience was surprisingly pleasant. The package was sleek and sturdy, giving a sense of anticipation for what's inside. Inside the box we have the remote itself, which has a nice weight to it giving it a premium feel, although it's fairly lightweight. Along with the remote we have the instructions, a quick start guide, a braided USB cable and a US plug. Now let's take a look and see how this remote works. The first step is downloading and installing the companion app, which is available for both iOS and Android. Once that's done, we can sign up, start adding the super remote and the Embridge, then start adding our devices. It's important to note the Embridge acts as a bridge for Home Assistant and allows you to control your smart devices using MQTT. You'll need to connect the Embridge to your Wi-Fi network on the app in order to gain access to your Home Assistant instance. I won't cover the setup process in this video, but I have found it to be quite simple. Of course, you don't need the Embridge if you just want this to work with your IR or Bluetooth devices such as TV remotes. You can effortlessly pair your TV remote, Embridge and even Bluetooth devices. One feature I was pleasantly surprised by was the AI feature that allows you to take a picture of your remote and it'll then show a bunch of remotes. You just need to select your remote or the one that looks closest to yours and you should be up and running in no time. Simply verify it and configure the button layout to your liking, save it, select what room you'd like it in and then sync it to the remote. You can also add and remove rooms in the app. Now let's take a closer look of the design of this universal remote. It's slightly larger than standard remotes, but that's because it packs a lot of features. The smooth texture underneath provides a comfortable grip while the aluminium frame gives it a sturdy build. The glossy plastic on top adds a touch of elegance and the rubber buttons offers a tactile feedback. One of my favourite elements is the integrated OLED display and the lighting around the remote. It's a game changer for those late night home cinema or gaming sessions. The display turned off for a few seconds after used to preserve battery life and then activate when you pick it back up. And check this out, there's a tracking ball in the centre allowing you to cycle between buttons that can be configured in the app. Also, it can be used as a Bluetooth mouse cursor as well. What's really cool is the magnetic charging port on the bottom. It comes with a magnetic USB cable, which is convenient. Plus, if you disconnect the magnetic adapter, there's a USB-C port on the bottom of the remote itself. This offers more versatility for charging, although I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but it's certainly a welcome feature. Now, let's talk about how this universal remote can elevate your setup. Whether you have a gaming room, home theatre, a smart home, this remote has got you covered. It can be used at Amazon Alexa through the AI hub, but as mentioned earlier, I've got this connected to Home Assistant via the Embridge. If this seems overwhelming, it's fairly simple to set up Home Assistant these days. In fact, I have some videos on my channel that guide you through the process, so you can get it up and running in around 20 minutes or less. Once connected to Home Assistant via MQTT, this remote becomes a powerful tool for controlling your smart devices. Imagine having the ability to control your entire setup with just one remote. It's like having a universal remote on steroids. Aside from being able to control my TVs and other IR devices, I can control all of my smart lighting, heating system, projector and even Spotify thanks to Home Assistant. As mentioned earlier, there's a ball in the middle of the remote that allows you to cycle between your devices and buttons. What you can do is press and hold to lock the remote, so you don't accidentally knock it and go into a different room. Oh, and you can also set the remote to automatically lock on that device after being inactive for a few seconds. What you may not know is if you're connected to a supported Bluetooth device, you can then press and hold the same button, then it'll activate mouse mode. I thought this is a really neat feature, you can just press and hold it again to then go back to the default cycle mode. I've been mostly using it primarily with Home Assistant, consolidating all of my TV remotes, a Bluetooth remote, a Gimme projector, and controlling Spotify. 
The fact that all of these remotes fit into one slick device is quite amazing. Now let's talk about battery life and charging. During my testing, I found that the battery lasted around a week with regular usage. But keep in mind that results may vary depending on usage patterns. The good news is the battery charges quickly, taking only around 30 minutes to reach a full charge. There's one thing I should note about this. This remote doesn't have a microphone, so it doesn't support voice search. If voice control is a must have for you, this may be a drawback to consider. In conclusion, this universal remote has truly impressed me. Its slick design, integrated OLED display, lighting and versatile functionality make it a great addition to any tech enthusiast, smart home, living room, home theatre and more. The device seems to do what it pretty much says on a tin and very well in my experience. There's so much more that this super remote paired with the Embridge can do and control. I've probably missed out some things, but hopefully I've covered the main things. Well, that's it for today's review of the Best Joy Super Remote. If you would like to find out more about this remote, I'll leave some links in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech content. Also, let me know in the comments down below if there's any other setup or smart home tech you'd like me to review in the future. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.